Hello friends! So today I have some things to show you and I have some things to tell you. The first of which being that next in my life I am moving to Thailand to teach English. Peach kind of let the cat out of the bag on that one in the last video because he didn't know that I hadn't told everyone yet. And some of you caught it. So if you did, good for you. You got Paige's life news earlier than everybody else. So yeah, after I turned my dissertation here in Belfast in like a month, oh my gosh, um, I am going to Thailand to teach English for five months. I will try and video all of those Thailand adventures for you and hopefully you will enjoy them and get to live vicariously through me if ever you have wanted to go to Thailand. And if you've ever been to Thailand and have any advice about living in Thailand, I'll take some of that. I also wanted to show you some of the stuff I got at Summer in the City because it's so beautiful. My friend Maddie did the I Love YouTube Boys t-shirts for me and she gave me the original drawing and I just want to frame it and put it by my bed and kiss it every night before I go to sleep. If you haven't already, you all need to go check out Individual Maddie because she draws the cutest things and is the loveliest person and I was actually her first face-to-face -face American. We were chatting on Skype when I decided that I was going to go to summer in the city and she said that on the first day she would have to run away from any Americans that she saw so that I could be her first face-to-face -face American and I was and it was so beautiful. I like being firsts and I like being memorable. I also wanted to show you this. I got Dave from Blue Skies, New York City. I got the smudged one because he said people thought that it wasn't smudged on purpose, but it was smudged on purpose, so people didn't want to get the smudged one because they didn't think it was smudged on purpose, and I said to surprise me because I like surprises. And I told him I would buy it if he wrote me a secret on the CD, and he did. It's on the back. I'm not going to show you though because it's a secret. This is one of the like three albums I have on rotation while I've been writing my dissertation and it's really good and I'll put a link and you should go check it out and you know buy it if you want. Also on the topic of music that is good my dear friend Tom Milsom slash Hexacordo came out with Explorer 6 yesterday. It's on his band camp. I downloaded it and I've been listening to it like constantly since. Um, I love music you guys. And I like appreciating music for whatever it's good for and what it's meant for. And I try really hard not to be a music snob because I was a music major and a lot of those tend to kind of be music snobs and it made me angry. Anyway, so I like to like music what it's for. So sometimes I like music recognizing that it's bad music but it's good for like car dancing or whatever. But Tom's music is legitimately fantastic. Like, as a musician, I adore his music. So, at the very least, go listen to it. And if you want, you know, you can buy it, and then you can listen to it all the time, which is what I've been doing. And then it's like our brains will be doing the same thing at the same time, and we'll be connected somehow, um, and, it, and, and it'll be beautiful.